Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this St. Petersburg chain necklace. And this is this is several chains put together and then I've split it here down the middle to make a, a really hefty necklace. Really beautiful on. It's a substantial piece. I used the little or big dollar bead box um, focal piece here, which it looks so pretty on here, but you can really put anything at the end. Um, I have my, I haven't sewn it in yet because I'm I want to check my thread path so I can share this with you. I'm not exactly sure how I got it on there, but we'll figure it out. You can always keep leave that off and just hang three drops from here, um, pearls, you name it. I'm, I'll show you a few think possibilities that um, would look pretty down here. You could put a big, here's like from my ring, you could put a stone right here. You know, you can bezel a stone. And so, you I mean, there are so many options. I just want to get you the necklace. Um, we did the bracelet. This was the last video. I wanted to, for those of you who haven't done this before, I wanted you to really learn the stitch. So you learned this. You made the bracelet. Now we'll move on to this. It's really basically the same thing. I'm using pearls and 8 seed beads here. So um, I'm going to clear the decks, and we'll get a materials list going, get started on this necklace. All right, seeing a few. Get a materials list going. So we're going to need some 8 seed beads, and I'm using the nickel silver here. Of course, you can use any color you like. Need some three millimeter pearls, and I'm using uh, this black pearl. And I just want to grab something here. This is a let me think, see what it's called. It's it's a um, magic black. I think it's called. I'll put it in the description black box under the video. It's like a gemstone. So there's a difference between a black pearl and this magic color. So I will definitely put the you know the the full name of it in the description box, and you, you'll see the difference. Uh, I'll put it in, this looks like an onyx bead, actually. And then, speaking of onyx, I have a few four millimeter uh, pearl, uh, not pearls, these are actually onyx beads, or pearls in the same color, that I'm just going to, I was thinking of maybe just doing a little bit with a larger bead right down the center here. I don't know. You don't have to, but um, I just thought I would give it a try. So either way, but if you have a few, you don't really need many of them, maybe six or seven of them. Um, you'll need a little or big focal piece if you want to do that bottom piece. I have another bead from the dollar bead box, which I ordered. A dollar. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful black bead. It's got some like matte colored matte stars on it, but it's really very pretty. It's I'm sure it's glass. It looks like a big old piece of onyx. Uh, I'm using a button for the end. On the other one I used a, a component that look, looks just like a button. I'll show it. To, okay, I'll grab it. Here we go. So that's what I used here. I don't have another one. This works out perfectly because it makes it nice and flat. It is a wide piece, so it's going to, you want it to lay flat around your neck, which means you don't want anything that's going to make it bunch up on the back. You want it as fluid and as flat as the rest of the necklace. So that's why I used this. If you can't find a component like that, I think a, a, one of these um, shank buttons would do great. And I had these in my stash. I think they're really pretty. I have a few 11 O seed beads that I'm going to put out, just because we might decorate the end a little bit. I'm not sure. Size 11 bead, a uh, 10 beading needle. You can use an 11, but a 10. You have big beads here, so you can go with a, a 10. I would use eight pound fire line. This is six because it's all I had. I have some on order, but it didn't come in, so. Um, I would go for the eight pound. This is this is black satin. It's this is a substantial necklace, so you want a good um, substantial thread for it. A little stop bead going on. So that's really about it. So gather up your materials and we'll get started making this necklace. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So thread a needle with about six to eight feet of thread, and put a stop bead in the middle. So you have three, four feet coming out of one side of the stop bead, three, four feet out of the other side of the stop bead. So we're going to do the first chain with this thread and, this, and the, we're going to double it with this thread. So pick up six of your eightos and just a note, if you are brand new to this and haven't done it, be, done it before, go to the bracelet video which I will pop a link up for in the corner there and in the description box below the video. It goes, you know, I go very slowly. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit here uh, because a lot of you know the stitch, so like I said, if you're a beginner, you have that that um, how-to up there. Okay, so here I've dropped six eightos down to my seat, my um, stop bead. I'm gonna pull in a little bit. So here we go. So we count from the bottom up. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, and 6. So through beads 3 and 4. Just like that. Gives you the two columns. Pick up a 3 millimeter pearl. You're coming out of here. Come through 3. Just like that. And then you're going to pick up the 4 millimeter if you're using it. I'm only going to use these, as I said in the intro, just down the center here, just, just to see how that looks. So I'm going to take my 4, although well, this looks bigger than a 4, it looks like it could be a 5. You're going to come through the 2, just like that. If not, just use all your 3 millimeters. Pick up 4 8 drop them down. Sew up through beads three and four, just like that. I'll move this out of the way. Pick up a three. Coming out of here, just come back down three beads. Pick up your bigger bead, come on through the two. Do it again. Pick up four eightos. Drop them down. Sew up through beads three and four. Pick up a three. Come through three beads. Pick up the bigger bead. Come up through the two column. Okay, just like that. All right, so that's what we're going to do the whole way, or, or the beginning, anyway. So you can do one of two things. So we're working on this center chain right here. Well, let me pull out a little bit. Yeah, better. Okay. So we're working on this center, this double. We're going to make a double in the center here. So we're going to come up making a double, and then we're going to split off to make the V. So I'm using these bigger beads just right down this center part of that first chain. That's the only place I'm using the bigger beads. And this is just a tryout. So maybe you just want to see what, how, it, how it works out before you do it. But if you decide you want to try it as well, you're going to put seven, you're going to make sure you have seven of your larger beads on. So you keep making the chain as I've shown you, but just make, make stop at seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's, it splits after seven. What we're going to do is we're going to put on seven big beads and then we're going to, when we split, um, we're going to go back to the smaller beads. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. So just um, get that done, and to get this chain done until you have seven of these larger beads on and or seven of the smaller. But just make sure you, you, you don't keep going. Wait for me before you keep going. And then meet me back here and then we'll keep going. <laughs> okay, see you in a few. Okay, we're back and I, here I am. I have my seven beads on for the center and before okay so before we go we, we do the double I'll just give you some instructions for um, why don't we just you know I don't want to get too ahead of myself so why don't we continue so I, what I want you to do actually is I want you to continue this this whole um, side until you have the length of your necklace going so let me just thread my needle okay so if you have decided to do the seven beads, we're just going to go back to the small, just all smaller beads, or go more, we're going to go to all smaller beads. So here, I've put on four. I'm going to come up beads three and four, just like that. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter. I'm going to come down three. And now I'm going back, to, I'm going to a three millimeter. I'm not going to put any more of the larger beads on. I don't know. I was just curious to see how it would look this way. You see, so I've gone from larger to smaller. So now I just wanted you to continue all the way down to your bracelet, um, excuse me, your necklace length. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm just switching to just using the Eidos and the three millimeter, just like that, okay? 
So I've just switched. Okay, see what I did? So I just switched off. I just thought it, I don't know, it might be pretty and maybe make a nice, a nice curve. We'll see. All right, so to get your, your necklace length, I'm going to pull the other one out for a second. The most important part of this necklace is this the, from the V to the to the clasp. Okay, so for my 20 almost 22 inch necklace, from here, from where I uh, where I'm going to be veering off or splitting off, it's going to be I'm going to make this about nine and a half inches for my 21 22 inch necklace. This is the most important thing where this splits. The rest of it. Uh, doesn't matter. It's this part here. So for me, that's going to be like um, so 18 and a half, 19 inches. The place that this falls on the neck and looks the prettiest because it is a weighty piece is right on that bone. I don't know, is that the sternum right up at the top, that sort of bone in the middle of your decollete there? And then so that's where the split falls and then the necklace itself, you know, the bottom of the necklace uh, with it, where the um, the stone is, that goes towards your cleavage, and it looks really beautiful that way. All right, so you get an idea of where, where it's, it's going to fall on the neck. Now, one other thing. If you just want to make a chain, one chain, with smaller beads on one side and then the larger beads, look what a great curve that makes. And I'm thinking maybe even an earring. So, you know, I'm always, there's always a designing moment, right? It's not quite long enough to make a hoop, but if we could get it um, firm enough, we could make a hoop out of that. That would be very cool. But you can just do a... This makes a beautifully curved necklace right here. All right, so you got that. So um, go on and finish doing the um, the necklace. So this is where we are at this point. All right, so you're going to, so you have, if, if you've done the big beads, you've done your seven, now you're going to continue all the way down your nine and a half, ten inches, whatever it's going to be. And then meet me back here, and we're going to start the double chain. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back. So let's um, get the double chain going. So you have, you have your, I, I didn't go on, but you have your long piece going. And now I'm just going to show you how to do the double chain, and then we're going to split off. So let's just turn around and get the double chain going. All right. So take your stop bead off. Hold it like this. Take your stop bead off. You're going to have this little errant bead down here. Don't worry about it. It's part of that chain, and it will get connected when as we go along. Whoops. Go this way. All right. Pick up six of your eightos. Just like that. Drop those down. I'm going to try to leave this on the mat. Of the six that you picked up, just the, of the six, don't count the other beads or that little errant guy, just go up beads three and four. Okay, so here we go. Like that. So I'm just going up beads three and four of the six I just dropped down to my thread. I'm going to pull that down. That's going to make my, my two columns again, just like that. Pick up a three millimeter, just like that. Come down three. So you notice that we're really just doing the same thing. It's just the way we're connecting that is going to change. So come down three. I'll hold that for a second. Just like that. Now, instead of connecting a bead, we're going to go through that center bead right there. That's how we're going to make a double. You don't need to add a bead because there's a bead already on there. Just like that. And then up the two. Kind of just flips around by itself. See that? You're going to go up the two. And now you have your turn. Now we're working on our double. Pick up four. them down, come up beads three and four, pick up a three millimeter, come down three, make sure you pull it, I was a little loose on that, you want to pull it, you know, tight so you don't want too much thread throwing, showing, so I'm just going to mess with it just a little. Come down, beads three. Uh, come down three beads. Now you're gonna just needle up through that bead in the center, just like that. And then, if 
you have to just use your thumb to pull those two beads over, come through the two. Just like that. Do that one more time. Drop those down. Come through beads three and four. Pick up a three millimeter. Come down three. Just like that. Come up this guy in the center. And sometimes you can just come up these two just like that and it'll pull them over. See that? All right. So keep going until you get, you do your last large bead or the seventh bead. Three, six, number seven. Okay, so go, keep going until you, until you're to that bead and then we'll do that one together and then we're going to split off. Okay, to, to make a um, to make the sides of the necklace. All right, get that done. I'll see you in a few. Okay, we're back. So I've gotten six done. I'll do one more with you. So pick up four. So that's six of the center beads connected with the double. Come up two. Pick up your three. Come down three. Come up this one. And I just kind of come across and go through this one too. That pulls it, that pulls it together. All right, so now I have all seven of my bigger beads or seven of my smaller beads. It doesn't matter whether you have bigger beads or smaller beads on at this point. Now we're going to split off. So this part of the necklace is going to go this way and this one's going to go this way. So all you want to do here is pick up four of your eightos, drop them down, come up beads three and four, gonna pull. Just want to pull my tail a little bit. Okay, pick up a three, come down three just like we've been doing. And now, we're just going to pick up another three millimeter and go this way. Just like that. Okay. Pick up four. Drop those down. Come up beads three and four. Like that. Pick up a three. Come down three. Pick up a three. Come up two. Just it'll kind of pull itself over just like that. So that's how we did the split. We just went back to adding both beads on either side, and that's how it's going to split, just like that. All right. So at this point. You can keep it just like this and make two long sides and you have a gorgeous necklace. And, and a beater did post one on Facebook, um, my Facebook page, that um, was very beautiful with a drop at the end. You can put a drop, a crystal, how about that? Very pretty. Um, a big bead, a bicone, uh, you know, um, anything you like. But what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to attach more uh, chains, chains to either chains to either side. We're just going to go this way first. We're going to make a single and then another and then a single and another and then we're going to connect everybody and you're going to have this big wide necklace. All right, but you can't stop at this point. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So you really have a necklace right now if you if you just want a simple uh, necklace here. So just keep going. Of course, you've kept, kept going. I so mine's going to be abbreviated. And then just put something at the end or not. We're going to get, keep adding chains. So thread your needle again with, oh, again, six to eight feet of fire line. Put a stop bead on the center. So you have one thread on one side of the stop bead, one thread on the other. I'll pull in. 
Pick up six of your eightos and drop them down to your stop beat. Come up beats three and four. Okay, so this is what we have right here. So just hold it right next to your the piece where you're going to attach. So I'm going to attach to this pearl. I mean you could what if you went up and attached to a different pearl? Well, I'm gonna go right here. Just come through the pearl or the accent bead that's on your piece, that one on the bottom, and then right through three beads. Just like that. Pull that down. Pick up your accent bead. Come up the two. Just like that. Now we've got our first start of our chain on. Pick up four of your eightos, drop them down, come up beads three and four, just got my thread caught in there. Um, Three, beads three and four. Come here, thread. Okay, there we go. Just like that. You're going to come down through, so you're coming out of here, you're going to come down through this one. So this is how we're attaching. Just like that. And then, well, I'll do it one at a time. Just like that. And then down three on this side. On these, you know, those three beads right there on the four side. See how that attaches? Pick a, pick up a Accent bead, come up the two column. Do that one more time because I got my thread caught. But go, as I said, I'm, I'm go back to the other video. I do it very slowly there. Pick up four. Come up beads. Three and four. Come through your accent bead that's on your piece. Just like that. And if you can get over there in one swoop, down three, just like that. Pick up an accent bead, go up two. Now you're connecting your next chain. So just keep doing that and do that all the way to the top of your, or to the end of your necklace. Okay, so that's going to get your next chain on. And then meet me back here and we'll make, we'll double it. I mean, you already know how to do that from doing this, but I'll, I'll do, I'll get you started on it. All right, so get that done and then we'll continue. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So I have this chain on, so I'm just going to turn around and come up the other side to get the next chain on. So I'll just get you started here. So here we are. I've taken off my stop bead. Pull on a teeny bit more. So I have my four beads here. Don't worry about that one. It's part of the chain. Add six eight O's. Drop them down. Come through beads three and four, just of the six you added. Just like that. This is what we have. Pick up your three millimeter and one of your 11 O's. If you want a little accent on the outside, we're going to put it on the outside edge. Okay, just it's it's just like a little um, just one bead just to cover any thread that might show on the edge. If you want to, I didn't really care. But if you're using really white beads or really light colored beads, you probably will see that. So. So skip the 11 0. Come down three. Just like that. Come up through your first three millimeter that's on this chain here. Just like that. And then through 
the two on the side. You can just pull them over with your thumb, like pop them over. I just kind of go through like that and it just automatically slides over. Okay, let me give that a pull. There we go. So now we have our turn. Pick up four, drop them down. Come up beads. Three and four. Just like that. Pick up your three millimeter and the 11 -0. If you want to use that 11 -0. Drop them down. Skip the 11 -0 and come down the three. Come up this one. And I just come over here and it pops that other side over. Come through the two, just like that. And make yours a little tighter. Sometimes I, I get loose when I um, film just because I want to make sure you see what I'm doing. Okay, do it one more time. I got four. Oops, I got my little. Oh, that doesn't look, that looks like it didn't belong. It probably did, but <laughs> it looked a little weird. Okay, pick up four. Come up beads three and four. Pick up your three millimeter, and if you want, the accent bead, or the little pico, I'll call it the pico bead. Come down three. Come up this one. Just like that. And the two. Let's see if I can get those. There you go. And the two. Just like that. Alright, so this is it. Oops. I got a, okay, there we go. So now you have this the that's your last, that's your your edge of one side of the necklace. So you're gonna go all the way up. Um I mean, you can even stop in different places. I'm always thinking as I go along, you know, what could I, what else could I do? What could I do differently? But I'm just going to do it this way. But you can play and do whatever you want. So this is the first edge of the, the, the of this side. It's the, the, the ending edge. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to just do the same thing on this side. So you're going to, so of course, because I'm a righty, I'm, I'm going to flip it over like this so I can get to the other side. All right? And then I'm going to add my, my, double chain here. So just go back <clears throat> to where we added. See we had this. Remember this segment? Then we added this next chain and then this one. Just repeat. It's the same exact thing. Just repeat it on this side all the way up. And then meet me back here and we'll uh, work on putting the drop on and the clasp. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So a couple things before we put the stone on. One, as I was beading this and I, you know, I'm, I don't have enough beads to make a full necklace, I was really loving the way it was coming out staggered like this. So just, you know, just a little designing moment or whatever creative moment. You can play with this a little bit and, you know, maybe change it up. Who knows? All right, so just thought I'd share that. And now we're going to put this on. But I just wanted to show you a few other things that you can do down here if you don't have a dollar bead box bead. So I pulled a few things out from my stash. So I pulled this guy out. This is a bead embroidery piece that you could hang from here. This would make a great chain for this piece. You could even do it this way and, you know, just sort of embellish around here to make the connection, you know, look really good. I like it that way too. I pulled out one of my peyote squares. What about something like that? And, and use, you know, you could be very decorative in the way you attach so that it, you know, it all flows nicely. You can do it this way if you like real, you know, angular look. Very cool. I pulled this guy out. This is the interlace um, bezel. I love that. Of course I would use the corresponding color bead here to make it, you know, all go together. But, I mean, that could be really pretty. You can even do it on this side. 
So I, I love that idea. I think that's, that, that's something I might consider using. And or if you like a little smaller piece here, this is just the interlace cocktail ring bezel. You can do this. You can do three of them. If you have, if this piece is longer, you can, like you have this one longer and these shorter, you can put two other little beads here and this will be longer. And last but not least, if you just want, if you just have it in your stash, a few of these um, drops. And you could put something on the bottom of the drop, you know, to to make it, um, you know, decorative or make this one longer and these, you know, so it, it, it staggers like this. And if this piece is longer in the middle, how pretty will that look? Or, you know, just like we said earlier, just do the one with a black drop. Hello. You know, just do that double and, and then, um, um, you know, veer off. And that's gorgeous. All right, just wanted to give you a few ideas, things that are going on in my head, so I thought I'd share. All right, so thread a needle with about a foot and a half, maybe two feet of uh, thread. And we're gonna try to get this on. Now, I, when I put this on, I actually don't really remember how I did it, so we're gonna play with this together. So put a stop bead on, leave enough of a tail to sew in. I believe I came down here, these four beads. So start there. If I have to change it, you know, because I'm, I don't get my thread path right, you know, just bear with me. Pick up four of your eightos and an O bead. Yeah, I forgot that there were there was there were two O beads. There was an O bead on either side. Not really necessary, but I just I put it on there. I couldn't even tell until I looked at it, looked at it again. So pick up the four beads, and if you have an O bead, you can put one on. Pick up another O and four. And then we're gonna come back up this side. So I'm just, you know, doing the exact same thing on this side that I did on this side. And that hopefully that's gonna put it on nicely. Okay, so now that I have I have that part done. And actually, you could probably even just leave it this way without connecting along the top. I don't know, I kinda like that. I wonder if that will stay. If you you can just reinforce it a bunch of times, and I think that would be fine, actually. I like that. But we're going to go on. So now I want to get to here because I want to add a little 8 right here. So I'm just going to find a thread path. So I'm coming out of, I have to hold it in my hand at this point, I'm out of here. I'm going to come across so I see a thread path there through this one. Let's see, I'm going to cross through these two right here. Just like that. I'm going to come, let's see, oh, actually I could come right down this guy. I'm trying to stay where there's thread. Then I'm going to come up, so I can come up this one, these three. Okay, so I'm just coming around the unit. I can come, let's see. Actually, can actually come through. Let's see. Can I come through the black one? No, I'm going to come through these three, these four. Okay, hopefully I'm, yeah, actually that works. Okay, then I'm going to add an 8 and come up these four. I just want to add that little 8 right there. And I'm going to come down. And because I did it on the other side, I think I can come down these. Now let's see. Then I'm going to come through this again. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually make myself, I don't know why I'm coming, I have a new thread path, but it's, no thread is going to show. It's kind of like an intersection, a right angle weave intersection right there. I'm going to come through this, these again, all the beads and the stone. So you see when I do that, it, um, it, it it's a good, it's not a bad thread path, so I think I could leave that. And I'm going to come up the O bead 
and these four right here just like that then I'm going to do that same thread path on this side so I'm going to make an intersection here come through these four. Oh, I think this is going to work <laughs> this is very exciting <laughs> down these okay now let me see where my okay so I'm going to come down these four alright so now I'm ready to am I going to go this way? I'm not sure let's see let me just check my my piece on this side. So where is this coming out? Okay, so actually I did make a turn here. So let's see if this works. One, two, three, four. And then I came through. So here I am. I have four beads on. I came through this, the O bead and the stone again. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Let's see. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. Then I'm going to come through the O bead. And then I'm going to pick up four. And I'm going to come through. So I went this way. I'm going to come back up this way. And that should set everybody on so that they're, they're nice and even, let's see. And my thread path should be good at this point. There you go. All right, I did it. That was stressful. I had no idea whether that was going to work or not. But I think all the beads are coming out where there should be. I'm going to have to sew this guy in. I'm giving it a pull. So these all look like they're, yeah, everybody looks good. So then I would just um, retrace your thread path just to, to um, you know, in order to tighten it up a bit. Good luck. You should be able to do that. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. You'll do it. It looks great. Okay, so there you go. That's your path. My, if you have to rewind, rewind and look at it. But the, the path is good, and I think it will look nice. All right, so go ahead and get that done, and then meet me back here, and we'll put the glass on. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back. So this is about as far as I can get on the necklace because I've run out of beads. So I'm just going to clasp it just to show you how to do the clasp. And I hope that worked out well for you. It it went on pretty nicely and I hope you I hope that wasn't too confusing it was kind of it was kind of fun and a little stressful all right so this is how you're going to end up you're going to have three threads coming out because you have you know you have this chain this chain and this chain here I don't want you to use these to to sew the clasp on because see this is loose so if I pull it it's just going to they're not tight so you want to sew these threads in really well so come so I'm, take each one so I'm coming out of here just going to come down, let's see, I'll just come through these four beads, I'm going to come up these two, like that, and then I'm going to come through these again. Can actually come down the black one. You're not messing up your thread path. You can come up through these two. So just weave around um, until, you know, just by following a thread path and weave around until it's until it feels secure and then tie a little half hitch knot. Then take off your needle. Do the same with this. So you're just going to come through here, come up, go through the beads, come down. Do the same thing with this one. Okay, so tie them all ni in nicely so they're nice and snug, nice and tight. And then meet me back here. Uh, do both sides and then meet me back here and then we'll add the clasp on separately. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back, so let's get the, the button on. So I've threaded a needle. Hey, let me, I've kind of gone ahead of myself a little bit. Okay, so I threaded a needle with about a foot and a half of thread put on a stop bead. I'm going to come up these two just like that. I'm going to pick up three eightos and my button. Drop those down. Pick up three more eightos. I'm going to come up 
kind of going to make it go up this way. See that? Just so the button goes on evenly, just like that. And then I'm going to here, hold it like that. Sew through. I'm just going to come across and sew through down. To sew down, down through these beads here. Just like that. So then that puts it on sort of in the center. I mean, it's it's never going to be completely even because you have a double chain and then just one here where you split, but I think that works pretty well. And I'm going to come up these. So again, I'm just going to I'm going to come around and I'm going to reinforce. So I'm going to just work my way around. I'm trying to go through a thread path here. So this is going to take me back up through everybody again. Just like that. Go through the button. Can I get caught? Let's see. There we go. Through the button. Oh wait, I did. I got twisted. Let me untwist. Like that. And hold on. Ha, ah, there we go. Untwist. <laughs> Come on back through the button, the shank, down this one again, down these three, and through this one, like that. We'll pull, and then come across again, come down again. So you're here, you were going to re reinforce. You want to reinforce this two or three times because it's... Um, you know, it's a pretty heavy necklace, so you want to make sure it's nice and, and snug. And then when you're done with that, let's see, where am I? Okay, let me turn it around. You're just going to, my button just flopped over. You're just going to tie some half hitch knots. So here we're going up again. And just like I said before, tie some half hitch knots. And then you have the button on. All right, so this is what it looks like. Just like that. Okay. Then get get that done, tie it in, and then meet me back here, and we'll do the loop. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back, so let's get the loop on. So I kind of get ahead of myself a little bit. So thread a needle um, with a foot and a half or so, with a two foot and a half of thread. Stop bead, just like we did on the other side, come th up the, through these two beads on the side. I've picked up, I think, about 22. I, I didn't... Um, 22 to 25 beads, depending on the size of your button. Okay, so just stringing those on. Just going to come back through this one, just like that. And that should fit. And then I'm going to reinforce. I'm just going to actually be, you know, I'm going to reinforce by first I'm going to come around and I'm going to work my way through. So I can get up through the beads again. So just we've done this a lot, so just keep coming around. Experts by now. I'm gonna come around all the beads. Gonna come back down again. Just like that. And as you reinforce it, it will straighten out a little bit. Um, you can be, get decorative at the end. I just wanted to show you just, just about how to put it on. So you can do that. When I put this on, this is how, well, I can't get it to close <laughs> because <laughs> mine's too short. But there you go. That's what it's going to look like. So you get the idea. You can, as I said, you can get a little fancy with this. You can, you know, put different color beads on. You can, you know, just to make it pretty at the end. I just wanted to give you an idea how to do it. So there you go. Here's our abbreviated necklace. Okay, you can even, I mean, I'd even consider peyote, doing a little peyote on the end to give a little bit of interest to that loop. I 
think I definitely could use it. All right, so there you go. Here's your necklace. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I hope you've been having fun with the St. Peter Petersburg stitch. And, you know, along the way, there are so many different things that you can do with this necklace. It doesn't have to be, you know, this whole big deal here. Um, so there's the bracelet. Here's the other necklace, <laughs> which I was kind of playing with down here. A lot of strings going on. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.